प्रेज लोड हाली लुया थैंक यू होली स्पिरिट थैंक यू जीसस थैंक यू होली स्पिरिट थैंक यू लॉर्ड थैंक यू जीसस थैंक यू लॉर्ड ग्लोरी बी टू जीसस थैंक यू जीसस थैंक यू होली स्पिरिट थैंक यू जीसस Hallelujah Blessings to you this uh, wonderful uh, day and uh, so glad to be with you through this uh, Facebook live again I had some uh, you know technical difficulties some poor network here but now by God's grace it is cleared so let's uh, uh, let's praise and uh, thank God for this beautiful and wonderful day the Lord has given and uh, want to thank everybody who have joined live this day and especially uh, the people the pastors amen who are working in the vineyard may god bless you all and this blessed day we are going to rejoice in him and be glad and i hope you are enjoying this season of lockdown with jesus christ the bible says there is fullness of joy in the presence of god hallelujah and the joy of the lord is our strength see what a powerful revelation here the bible says the joy of the lord is our strength amen some people say my strength is my family some people say my strength is my job my strength is my passion my strength is my you know the asset the position the possessions uh, and uh, uh, the, the the possibilities in my life but the bible says a man who enjoy the goodness of god he says the joy of the lord is my strength amen amen the bible says the kingdom of god is not eating and drinking but it is righteousness peace and joy of the holy ghost so we uh, drive our strength from uh, from the joy of the lord hallelujah so with that joy let's meditate today's uh, devotion uh, as you all know we are uh, for the people who have not uh, uh, you know had seen this live videos just want to do a small recap uh, we are studying we are doing the meditation every day about the different lockdowns of the word of god from the word of god uh, last 5 uh, days we are meditating about different lockdowns happened in the lives of different people from the bible starting from noah then to lot then to elijah then we meditated about the disciples and and Ezekiel the man of god who had the different facets of law, lockdown so today what we are going to meditate is about apostle paul the mighty man of god who underwent a, a different style of lockdown in his life just to uh, uh, encourage us i wanted to tell you amen uh, this day uh, we are as we are going through the lockdown in a different uh, facets or different uh, uh, way of lockdown in our life let's make use of it in a positive way take it in a positive angle so that we can uh, uh, be a blessing for multitudes all these men of god who underwent lockdowns in their life who were locked inside the room by the lord they brought the divine revelations from the kingdom of god uh, or from jesus so i wanted to tell you uh, nothing can take us away from the love of god amen nothing can uh, i mean deviate our focus from god if your eyes are fixed and focused on jesus christ hallelujah so uh, you know acts chapter 28 verse 16 the bible says when we arrived in rome paul was permitted to stay by himself with soldiers in a house Uh, soldiers to guard him in a house it is called as house arrest uh, praise god we are not arrested <laughs> but house arrest in in another uh, situation it says in acts chapter 24 verse uh, 23 he ordered the centurion to keep uh, paul under guard but to allow him some freedom and permit his friends to minister to his needs see there that's the second type of lockdown apostle paul uh, faced in his life first uh, he had a house arrest and there he was uh, uh, you know he he was uh, uh, 
you know put under the handcuffs the bible says they were, he was he was almost like in prison with the uh, secured by uh, the the guards and here also in the second phase is he also had a house arrest uh, uh, but there are, there were some leniencies uh, like uh, waverness was there the people could come and minister to him and he can minister to them so it was a relaxation of lockdown there was another phase in his life which is mentioned in acts chapter 24 verse 27 it says paul was imprisoned in caesarea for a least of 2 years uh, being brought be before being brought uh, uh, before festus uh, for the trial 2 years of imprisonment in, in the jail and even again the bible talks about acts chapter 16 Paul and Silas was put behind the bars so all this uh, 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 period of lockdown in his life in different angle so what i wanted to tell you is like nothing could deviate his focus nothing could pull him down actually this man is so powerful i love apostle paul next to jesus christ <laughs> the reason is he is a great man a visionary who derived the energy uh, the life of christianity who brought down the real essence of christianity uh, that that became the foundation and the pillar of the christianity even what the disciples the 12 disciples the very close people who were jesus couldn't do or couldn't accomplish this man who carried their revelation could accomplish that what does it mean if you have the revelation you can reveal the mysteries so this morning i wanted to tell you is even in this lockdown god can reveal mysteries which can create histories in our life and through our life you are a history maker you are a person the lord called for a greater purpose for the expansion of the kingdom of god so that multitudes can be benefited and can be blessed through your life hallelujah so this uh, blessed day my people of god i wanted to encourage you you are in the purposes of god you are in the plan of god amen you can derive the strength from jesus christ even during this tough phase and you can you can become a blessing for multitudes in your life see almost 5 uh, to 6 years 5 5 and a half years this man of god apostle paul went through house arrest and imprisonment but nowhere in the bible he says uh, it was a pathetic situation why why uh, should i preach the gospel with so much passion even though i am doing all these things i am getting only uh, such rejections in my life never he said it he considered all these pains and sufferings amen as a garland as a favor as a blessing in his life amen so uh, amen w- what i want to tell you this uh, blessed morning is my precious brothers and sisters in christ amen god can turn your morning to dancing god can change your life when you are focused in jesus christ when your focus is in jesus amen when you are committed for missions you have only possibilities in your life minute you know maybe he could have said very well said i am imprisoned for these many years why should i be a blessing for the people why should i do anything unlike the other prisoners i can be just inside the prison doing nothing he says if my if i am bound from going and reaching throughout to the other places even with the help of my legs i will use my hands to write if my mouth is being bound by preaching the word my hands will write amen so what does it mean a man of mission have only possibilities mark this word a man of missions will have only possibilities if you are possible everything is possible if you say you are impossible it is impossible that is the reason why apostle paul says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me hallelujah so may god gives us the strength amen to say that a man 
who brought out the heart of God. So we know the prison epistles written by Apostle Paul says about Ephesians, Philemon, Philippines, Colossians. It is called the prison epistles. The, the epistles written by Apostle Paul while he was imprisoned or house arrest. One of the mysteries, greatest mysteries in the word of God was revealed by Apostle Paul, which is being benefited in our life, which has become a milestone and which has become a, a, a foundation for our Christian life is derived from God during his lockdown season. Hallelujah. So when, you, when, when we know, study about Ephesians, the Bible says it was written to the believers in uh, uh, Ephesus. Uh, Ephesus, uh, this emphasize uh, on the salvation by grace through faith alone. And it talks about the church unity, the spiritual warfare. See, this man is writing all these things when he was put behind the bars. The situation, the background story is like this. He was put behind the bars. Hands and legs were tied up. Uh, but... You know what he is saying. Here the uh, people outside the jail, they were praying for the pastor to be released as soon as possible. Lord, do a miracle for our pastor. Set, set him free because he is working so hard. But this man of God who was put behind the bars, who was handcuffed, he was saying, Lord, open the eyes of the people. Something supernatural, a prayer of faith, a prayer with revelation, a prayer of a man who understood he is a man, amen, of this season. Amen. If you know you are the man of this season, you are the man of this hour. If you know nothing can forbid you from doing what you are supposed to do, amen, you will be able to face thing boldly as a person Paul faced. This man of God says, open the eyes of the people. What 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 does it mean? What to to see what the eyes of the people has to be open. Their inner eyes has to be open. Lord, my prayer is the people in Ephesus they should not see as other people see. They have to see through their inner eyes through the eyes of understanding. So that's why he said, Lord, open the eyes of the understandings of the people so that they will know I am only bound outside. I am free inside. I am really enjoying the salvation through grace, through the faith of God. So nothing can touch me or nothing can forbid me in enjoying the freedom of Christ. Hallelujah. What a... What a beautiful prayer this man of God is praying. Lord, open the eyes of the people. Just imagine we are put behind the bars in this, such a situation and given 10 pages or 10 papers to write and a pen is given. What we will pen down? We will write saying, I am, my situation is very bad. Say, you know, first word that proceeds from our mouth will say, or we will draw the picture of the jail saying, this is the situation, this is the scenario, that's it, I am stuck inside. The, the iron bars are very thick, it is stinking inside, there is no proper food, no, you know, proper accommodation, no, they are not taking care of me, my body is becoming weak, I might die, you need to pray for me, fast and pray for me, or you need to send some donations to me, or find a way of recommendation for me, to come out of this situation. But this man of God, who have actually received the revelation of Jesus Christ, while he was writing to Ephesians, you know, Ephesus, a believers in Ephesus, you know what he says? Lord, open the eyes of the people. He's not talking about the problem he's going through. He says, I am seated in heavenly places. I'm seated far above the principalities, far above the dominion, far above every other name, seated in heavenly places along with Jesus Christ. When you look through your natural eyes, you will see me put behind the bars. When your eyes are open to understand the truth, when your eyes are open to understand, amen, my position, 
you will know that i am seated in heavenly places far above the principalities that's what apostle paul is telling amen he is revealing his position amen amen not the condition amen what does it mean this man of god is ask amen writing to the uh, amen uh, the, the believers in ephesus and saying don't look upon your condition but understand your position in christ what the blood of jesus has given you you are powerful in christ jesus hallelujah so what a mystery being revealed when he was in prison and second uh, you know uh, the epistle which was written while he was in prison is uh, uh, to the uh, philippians to the people in uh, the bible says it 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 is it is the philippians you know it was about a positive letter to thank all the christians in philippi for their financial support of paul's mission work it was a positive uh, response how can a man write a positive response while he was in house arrest while he was in prison how can he write see our attitude matters how we take up how we deal with the situation really matters amen and that will decide our future this man is able to thank his believers the people in philippi thank you lord thank you because you are being a support for me amen so what does it mean uh, that that itself it shows an encouragement to the people is is in in other word he was giving in positive encouragement to them that hey, i will come out again he is also mentioning that in the near future i'm going to meet you very soon amen and i'm going to continue the mission works he talks about the mission works and the blessings what the lord has done through uh, the support of you uh, even though i am in i'm i'm in i'm in the uh, prison you don't worry about it the mission is actively happening and it will be continued so the the, the words of positiveness is coming out of this man of god who was in house arrest amen third epistle he was writing is to colossians to the christians in uh, uh, colossi he 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 talks about uh, the deity uh, of deity of jesus christ that is a divinity the quality and the nature of jesus with he is comparing with other god and goddesses the nature of jesus christ the divinity of jesus christ and and then he is requesting the believers to pray uh, for not for him he is saying pray for the expansion of the gospel expansion or advancing the kingdom of god what a man <laughs> he was not even asking the believers to pray for him he is house arrest he is saying just pray he was he was a man of focus he was very much focused in his mission he was focused in his missionary work isn't it that is the reason why he is talking only about advancing of the gospel what what we are talking are we talking that oh everything is stuck are we saying that oh come on this now almost a two months is done what i'm going to do what how the missions will happen how the church will grow <laughs> this man he is not at all giving room for the unbelief to enter in his life he is talking very positively saying people pray that the gospel will be advanced the kingdom of god will be advanced very soon and next is he is writing to philemon amen uh, in 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 uh, uh, amen the, the book of philemon it was a short it actually it was a short personal letter penned regarding a run, runaway slave onesimus actually uh, uh, onesimus he ran away from philemon was a owner of the slave who became a christian under paul's uh, ministry for while doing while paul was doing ministry uh, philemon was turned into a christian and another ministerial area uh, this uh, uh, runaway slave onesimus also became a christian so uh, he is writing a letter to philemon saying uh, the honor of uh, him the onesimus saying you need to forgive me doing a reconciliation i mean uh, no you in 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 christ you are not under slavery he is bringing the power of sonship in a different angle saying them saying or conveying to uh, philemon uh, you should not uh, bring any anybody under captivity we are only uh, amen working for the kingdom of god don't make him a slave as you are set free 
in Christ, he is also set free in Christ. He has to enjoy that freedom. Uh, the true, I mean, freedom in Christ. This man of God was talking about that. See, in Acts, um, uh, one thing I really loved about Apostle Paul is Acts chapter 28, verse 30 and 31. You need to, uh, I mean, study that word. The Bible says he lived two holy years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness, without any hindrance. Acts 28, verse 30 and 31. If you look at Apostle Paul's life uh, through a natural eyes, this is a man who underwent very tough time in his life, a lot of persecutions, a lot of uh, hardships he went through. Uh, he says, you know, I, I had shipwrecked three times, I beaten up uh, many times amen one shot or 40 times he was beaten with uh, uh, beaten by the soldiers he had to go through uh, you know uh, uh, amen uh, nakedness uh, he had to suffer without food a lot of persecutions he went through but this man of God says nothing could forbid me nothing could hinder me from giving the love of Jesus Christ he was staying in a rented house for two years in the house arrest again <laughs> The Bible says people were coming, whomever came to uh, Paul, they were being nourished with the mysteries of the kingdom of God and says nothing could forbid me from preaching the love. What, the, what a man. <laughs> Never he says I had problem, difficulties in preaching the word. He says if you are not allowing me to preach, I will write. If you are not allowing me to go to a place and uh, preach the word, I will write and send letters. What does it mean? He always found a possibility in the impossibilities. A man, a man whose inner eyes are open, a man's destiny he could understand, I am safe in Jesus Christ. A man, a man, the, 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 the hidden secrets or the mysteries of the kingdom of God is revealed. He he looked at the situation, he smiled at it and says, nothing can take me out of the love of Jesus Christ. Whatever, however you plan, you will become a failure. I will walk victoriously. See, Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 31, if you study, it talks about another imprisonment Apostle Paul went through along with Silas. Uh, the Bible says uh, they were praying and they were praising. It's okay. Some definitely will pray. If you could be at the bar, definitely will pray. But how can expect a man to praise God? Praising God. See, the power of praising. He praised and prayed inside, uh, inside the prison. Amen. When his hands and legs were tied up, begin to praise God. The Bible says, there was a tremendous earthquake. <laughs> the foundations of the prison begin to shake. The foundation of the prison begin to shake. And I mean, the Bible says the doors were open. Wow. Lockdown face. Expect miracle like this. Praise God. Pray to Him. Foundations will be shaken. There will be an earthquake. I am, I am ready for it. Are you ready for that? I am, are you ready? I, are you, are you, are you uh, getting ready for such a spiritual encounter? Are you getting ready for that? Are you really earnestly seeking for such an experience? You see, the Bible says, the man who enjoyed the freedom inside because of Jesus Christ, he was put behind the bars. He began to praise God and pray to Jesus Christ. The Bible says, there was a drummer. There was an earthquake. The foundations of the prison began to shake. The doors were open. Amen. The chains were loosened. The Bible says, soldiers came rushing inside. Amen. The, the security main officer, the supervisor, the main person, the jail warden came running. Thinking that these people would have escaped the Bible says he took the sword, amen, decided to harm himself. There, Apostle Paul is crying loudly. Apostle Paul cried 
with a loud voice saying sir do not harm for yourself for we are all here see listen actually if a, if any prisoner gets a chance to escape you know what they they do they will be they will be running away from the situation here apostle paul says why should i run away i have already experiencing a freedom in christ that is why we are here even after our our chains are being loosened we don't we are not worried about the situation here the bible says this this jail warden is running to them and say he came i love that scripture the bible says he came trembling before paul trembling before paul and fell down before paul trembling who trembled the jail warden trembled before paul the jail warden knelt down fell down before paul and said what must i do to be saved you know why what made him to say that these people who who were released without the help of the soldiers they the 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 iron doors are being opened with the help of any without the help of anybody the foundations were shaking there was an earthquake something supernatural is happening they can use of this opportunity to get saved or escaped naturally from the prison but they are staying back inside the prison this made the jail ward to ask this question what must i do to be saved as a natural man you should have very well escaped from this situation but we know you are not a natural man you have found a supernatural god and you are living a supernatural life that is the reason even though naturally when this natural miracle happened or a supernatural miracle happened for you amen you didn't escape you stayed there saying sir don't do any harm for yourself because we are all here he says i want that actual freedom i want that real salvation i want to enjoy what you are enjoying even you are going through a tough phase see see this even though the natural situation says you are going through a tough phase supernaturally you are able to overcome it by giving thanks by smiling by being happy not by pretending to be happy but by experiencing happiness oh hallelujah but not by say putting a mask and saying i have happiness i have joy no real enjoyment of happiness i need that joy i also ex- wanted to experience that real joy of salvation that you are experiencing that's why he trembled before this mighty men of god fell prostrate before them and say what shall i do to enjoy what you are enjoying simple truth he revealed believe jesus you and your household will be saved believe jesus you and your household will be saved see gospel crystal clear simply very simple profound way he you know exhibited represented christ i mean conveyed to this jail warden made him a disciple and follower of jesus christ how by experiencing the real freedom of christ amen when god revealed him the mysteries of the kingdom of god he didn't he didn't try to manipulate it in a different angle for his own benefits he said i want to glorify jesus in all my ways even though he was in lockdown he was caught up the bible says heavens were open for him he was even been taken to third heaven since i don't know through spirit or i mean in physical state but i have been taken up to heaven third heaven lockdown could not lock the heaven heavens were open for him if heavens are open for you if the mysteries of the kingdom of god is being revealed to you my precious brothers and sisters i wanted to tell you you are enjoying the real heaven on earth you are really enjoying the power of the kingdom of god on earth and you you will be a blessing for multitudes apostle paul during his amen lockdown phase in his life in a different way 
he was enjoying the real freedom he says nothing can separate me from the love of christ can we take a decision can we tell jesus lord i am determined to serve you you are my everything you are my god and you are my lord as you know thomas the apostle said my god my lord let's have the revelation unlock the mysteries and be a blessing for multitudes may god bless you till we meet tomorrow with another wonderful thought of lockdown god bless you